An 18-member grand jury ruled Scott Bird, Daniel Parnell, and Dylan Tyree are responsible for the death of Summer Moody. The law is clear, though, as far as who is accountable and who's responsible. Felony murder indictments were returned on the three teenagers this morning for their alleged involvement in a burglary on Graving Island that led to the death of Summer Moody last April. Investigators say Moody hid in a swamp behind a cabin on the island when she and the three boys were confronted by three men who went to investigate the break-in. One of the adults fired a shot into the darkness, hitting Moody in the head. These type of incidents seem to happen when people run with the wrong crowd. Unfortunately, um, the actions that happened that night were caused by the people that are charged here today. Under Alabama's felony murder statute, a person can be charged with murder if another person dies in the commission of a felony. There's no question as to who is responsible. If we're not for the actions of these individuals, we wouldn't be here today. The grand jury cleared the three men, William Hearn, Larry Duncan Jr., and Lonnie Davison. They could have investigated further or they could have returned a charge and they chose not to do either. Tragically, horrifically, uh, Summer Moody was off in the woods. The only legally accountable parties uh, that we have in this case, as far as the criminal law, are the three young men. But the attorney for Summer Moody's family says justice hasn't been served. There are another set of offenders as well, the shooters, the men who loaded up, armed themselves, interjected into this situation with these young teens, fired a shot and killed a girl. They're not being punished at all. No one seems to be focusing any time or energy or criminal charges on the guys who actually pulled the trigger. And they're the ones that took Summer Moody's life, not the juveniles. Bond for the three teens has been set at $250,000. Bird, Parnell, and Tyree have a court hearing in Bay Manette Friday morning. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.